Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a video. Um, we're going to be doing it on the trusty territory again. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of things we're going to be using, um, how we're going to do it, the technique, best way to go about it. I'm going to explain everything properly as I always do for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you what exactly we're going to be removing, the before and after results, best way to get your results, and as always, I'm not going to use the most expensive things I've got on here. I'm going to do it that gives everyone a chance to do this. So um, first things first, I'll cut this video, bring you over to the car, and I'll show you what we're going to be removing. Okay, so this is what they call, they actually call this um, orange peel. So if you look right where the light is, you can see that it actually looks like the skin of an orange. That's where it gets its name, the orange peel. So today we're going to be not just reducing that to get a much clearer shine, but we're also going to be taking the swirls and scratches out you can see as well. So we, I'm just showing you this video now, but I'm also going to do the before and after as well when we get further through the video. Um, so I'll show you what products we're going to be using now, and then I'm going to show you where to start. Okay, so this is all I've got today. I've just brought this little pack of... Um... CSA sanding blocks. Now the one we're going to be using comes with a 60, an 80 and a 150. We're going to be just using the 150 grip. We're not actually going to be sanding with this. We're actually going to be using some of this uh, 1500 um, wet and dry sandpaper. That's what we're actually going to be sanding the car with. Uh, we're going to use the complete car wash supplies um, cut and polish that they have generously supplied me with again. I'm um, going to see how that works on this type of thing and kind of results we get with that. And all you're really going to need other than that, I'm just using oh, just a, one of these today. But all that you need is just really pretty much a bucket of water. Um, you have to try and keep it wet obviously, you don't want to um, burn through the clear coat. Um, I've already prepped this. As always, you want to try and keep your stuff as clean as you can. Um, I am going to do a quick detail over it, just give it a one last wipe down, and then we're going to start the pro uh, sanding process. Alright, so this is what I'm just going to be using. It's the Meguiar's Quick Polish. Now, if you are looking for something great, I do highly recommend this stuff. It works a treat. So we just clean down this panel quickly. And that's literally probably even more than what you need. That's how far this stuff will go. So, you're going to want to grab your sandpaper. It's easiest just to fold it in half like that. Split line down the middle. Fold it back the other way. Just like that. You can put a little split in it. Just rip up the part first like that. And all you're going to do is take that. Wrap it around your 150 sander block. There you have it. That's what we're going to be using to sand it. So we'll spray down this panel and we'll get it going. Now while you are sanding like this, you're going to want to make sure that the panel stays wet and that it kind of like foams up. You don't want it to be dry sanding at all. So if you can, oh, I might have to bring the camera over to show you the better result. So I might have to actually do this with just one hand and bring you over and show you what I mean. If you can see how that's going white and foaming up, that's how you want it. You don't want it too dry. And another thing you want to be careful of is to always stay on an angle like this where you're working with lines. You never want to hit that on a perfect angle like that or like that because you can quickly very easily burn through your clear coat on your corners and edges 
So you always want to go from one edge to the side of it and to the top and the side of it like that. Never work on an angle of an edge that's off balance like that or like that. So you can see how well that's coming up now. So I'll quickly run over this and um, show you how it's coming along. All right, so this is the look that we've got just after that time lapse. I've just wiped this panel down. As you can see the difference in between, that's how it was before, and that's how it's coming up. So you pretty much don't want to go past that point. That is exactly how you want it to look. You can go a little bit uh, further, but you just want to have that real smooth feel and that, um, that nothing's really left on there. You want to re uh, reduce that orange peel as much as you can, but you're not going to be able to really tell or see that until you start doing the polishing stage of this. So don't get scared if you do it, wipe it over and your panel comes out looking like this. This is how it is and needs to look. Um, now, depending on your clear coat is depending on how long you're going to want to do this for. So I recommend only doing a quick sand over it. Judge how you feel from your car and think, all right, I don't want to do it this long. I've got to check it. It's not hard to put more water on and go at it again. So um, I'm going to do just a quick little more sand in just these quick little spots that I've missed where I didn't sand properly. And then um, we can we'll see what this looks like after we polish it back up. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Shire Mate again, just with the same yellow pad that I used last time. Um, I'm not too sure how well this is going to work uh, with this kind of job. I'm thinking I may need to use the rotary, um, but I just want to give the um, orbital a try just to see how well it works, and then yous will know as well. Um, I'm just going to be using the UMC. Try and get a good picture of that for you. Um, so these guys, the Complete Car Wash Supplies, they've dedicated that stuff to me. They've um, given me a whole bunch of stuff for supplies, uh, samples. Um, if you didn't see them in my last video, so you'll see how well they work this time as well. Um, I haven't tried their polish on this, so I wanted to try it and see how well it worked with this as well. So if you want to give them a call or a hit up for any supplies, um, just let them know. They're contacting, they're really cheap, I do support them. Um, so I'll bring this over quickly and show you exactly what we've got here. So this is the finished product. I just sanded all of that. I left um, the bottom so you, we can do it before and after. Didn't really want to. I wanted to do the whole panel, but I thought for you guys it would be best just to do half and half so we can see the comparison. Um, so I'm going to crack the buffer up now. We'll see how we go with this orbital. Um, I'll do it just a time lapse of that and then I'll bring you over and show you the results. So we just finished that um, time lapse. Um, that's all the polishing I've done on this car. Um, I didn't want to do anything out of the video that you didn't see. So I wanted to keep it all in the video, keep it short. Um, there is a couple of deeper scratches that I'm going to have to go over later. Um, that's one of the most important things to remember when you're sanding it, is the more that you sand it, the deeper the scratches you put in it, the longer that you're going to have to spend cutting it back, polishing it, and getting it back up looking like good. Um, but in saying that the longer you do that the more time that you put in the better result you're going to get but if you just want a quick job quick and easy um, don't sand it too much um, just that one time going over it with the buffer brought it back so that's all it took for me but then I went over it a couple more times just to reduce the scratches um, I think I've done it three times um, I went over it I think I can't exactly remember but, um, so I'll spray this down now and I'll bring this over and I'll show you the before and after results.
All right, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to actually see it on the phone, but you can still see how if you look right on the edges of the light, that's the best way you're going to pick it up on the phone. You can see it all bubbling around it and making it all look orange purely. Now if we move up to where we just done, that no bubbles, just perfect complexion. You can just look at the edges of them lights so it doesn't ripple at all. Come back down. You can see that ripple effect again. I try and do a 50-50. And that was just with everything I've shown you, only using that cheap stuff. Only taking minimal time to do it, and that's the results you can get. I'll turn this big light off and we'll use the LED light on the phone and see if we can even look at it in a better result. Alright guys, so that's all we have for today's video. Um, if there's anything you want to know about products, about um, how to go towards it, what to use, um, if there's anything that you want to know specifically, like you're looking to do to your car and you want to see how it comes out first or what's the cheapest or best way to go about it, um, just hit me up in the comments. Um, I will read them all. I will make videos for anyone that needs help. Um, I hope this video kind of helped you in any way that it could today. Um, I'm going to have other videos coming too, more sample videos. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. I'm going to try and help out everyone as much as I can. Um, it does help me if you can just like the video, leave a comment. It doesn't have to be anything great. Anything helps, even if there's other ways that you think that could help me um, run the videos better or if there's a video you want to see or just great video, mate. Uh, if you could do that, leave a like and subscribe. Keep coming back. It will help us build the channel and it will help me help you too. Um, so, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Catch us later.